Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you this world quest available at uh, Netland 5.0, which you can accept right here below this giant rock. Don't say there's a teleport waypoint, by the way. You can just uh, come here, for taking this road here, really easy. And uh, let's go activate the teleport waypoint first. So activate, and behind you will find this NPC. Let's talk to this NPC. Shadow of Mountains, beneath the crystal rock. So this is the Act 1. Accept it, and let's go toward uh, you know, in front of us. Here, if you don't approach too much the enemies, so they will just uh, not fight you. Here inside is the first area. Let's touch the inscri inscription. And then we have to repair the inscription. First of all, transform into this. And then repair. Now, hit this one. Go to the other one. Hit it. Hit it. Let's just go downside. And then once we get close, just to use the shockwave. This way is faster. Have to enter here. And okay, be careful. Bottom side. Let's keep going. Shockwave. Shockwave. Go on the wall. Shockwave. Shockwave. In the center. Shockwave. Shockwave. For big explosions, so you can make this area open. Let's keep going. Nice. Some wolf, um, enemy will spawn. Now just uh, let me get out um, and use my own characters to fight. Up to kill, the casting will start. Perfect. Now we have to get out um, and go to the other pin, which is this direction. Hide a map with a hide and teleport waypoint. So get out. Follow this road going toward the uh, west direction. Here, get close to this giant jade, it will fall down to form a bridge. Really cool. Boom. And go to the other side. You can, you can collect this thingy. They will just restore a bit of your pyro energy and uh, give you crisp iron chunks. There's another chunk. We have to go downside. Below this skull. Skeleton. There, in the center, you see that uh, wall with some dynamite. Crystal dynamite this time in this area. Just attack the dynamite, the batteries. It will make a huge explosion. You can get in. And you can activate the teleport, hidden teleport waypoint right on right side. So get down a bit more. Right there. Here's a pyroclos as well. Nice. This is the next area we have to unlock. Just to get down to touch the inscription there. It will open the two paths. One on right side and one on left side. So let me see, we have to go to this direction here, so get the in. Let's ignore all the other paths. Let's just uh, keep go. Take that road in front of us. So come this way. That one there. You can see that a giant door uh, opening here. Let's get up. And climb here later. After the up, let's tra transform into this. And just to go. Ignore the enemies. Follow this path. Keep going, keep going. And here you will see this area. Let's get down. 
And uh, you see this uh, thing here, just to get down. And then uh, resonator here around. So resonator here, 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 and in the end here. How do you resonate all of them? Click on check. Be careful. You can see that this path uh, is open. So find a way down. Let's go down. Boom. There is a pyroclus as well, but we don't take it. Now, after you get down, let's just uh, go deeper. Here you can transform into that type of fish, which is swim faster. Here, recover some uh, pyro energy. And we are at this place. This place here, inscription. Let's just uh, get closer. Water level will raise up. And we have to go back. So behind us. Here, get up. Yeah. Then operator here. F. And the water level will rise down again. I mean, not rise down. Uh, drop down. Now get down. We have to go and enter this cave now. With the spikes. Get close to that one to make it explode. This one explode. Okay. And the water level will rise down even more. So it's a chain effect. After this we can get out from uh, this area here. And we can finally do the inscription. Oh. Follow the inscription. We're getting out from the door we tried to get in before. Right here. Here there's a chest, but we ignore the chest, of course. Since we're going to keep it for the chest guide. Here, investigate. You will get a red metal key. Now, let's get out from here. Transform back into this one. Keep a follow the inscription. Back to the central area. area. Oh, we have to kill the enemies first because else we cannot. Uh, now we can interact with this uh, sigil. Nice. Now let's get down. Tra Transform into this and start up. Uh, Repair. Careful. Let's get down into the ground and use the shockwave to destroy this thingy. Hero. Explosion. Explosion. One there. One here. This one. Careful because uh, everything is uh, falling down. So keep an eye on where the terrain is uh, shaking. If it's uh, shaking, means that it's uh, getting down. Uh -huh. Breaking. Now enter into that one, which will guide you to here. Let's keep going. Remember that you can jump with the animal. Since I hear there's a, there are a lot of uh, balls that can recover your energy, remember to do to, to use the jump. Where are the rest? Oh, okay, help us here. Boom! Finally, it's done. Looks like this time there are no more enemies spawning. Rift Hounds. 
Oh, there's a wall breaking now. We can now get out from this place, huh? Basically where the wall exploded. To so get out. Aha! We're outside of here now. Everything is connected. Going to check the last one. That, uh... The last uh, shadow pin. Now we have to get down. Let's go. And I have to check that area beneath the canyon. Right below this giant one. Enemies, so be careful. About to crash him down. Oh, run away! At least we're safe. This first part, guys, is completed. The next one is a piece to the slumbering. This is the second half, but for now we can ignore it. Important is that we finish the first part. So hope this video helped you to complete the first part. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.